Okay, so it turns out I got three stars for doing all the mini games, and I set the kids' souls free by those balloons representation. I'll show you guys in that in a separate clip, but right now we're going to be playing all the mini games that started it out. So let's go to the extras and look at the first mini game, which is Balloon Boy. And you have to go to Balloon Boy twice. You can do it on any night you want. I did it on night one, and I collected all the balloons here. And it still says one, but basically you just cut through from right here. And there are the balloons that you caught before, but it doesn't show up until you go to the second time of Balloon Boy's level. But right now we're going to be going down here just to collect the balloon, the last balloon. Because that's how it represents for the first level of Balloon Boy's arcade game. But as you can see, there are three uh, Dark Balloon Boys, I guess Phantom Balloon Boys. And a pseudo wudo tree from Pokemon. So let's go get this last balloon and move on to the next night. Next mini game, not night. I'm excited to try out those cheats though. I've not tried them out. That sounds like they could be pretty freaking aggressive. <laughs> um, now we go to Mangle, and Mangle, you do her little arcade game. Aw, oh, damn it. Wait for him to pass by. I don't know why he comes this, this early. And we get the body parts for Mangle. Wow. Mangle's tail looks like, oh, I'm gonna grab that ass. Uh, I didn't mean to go there, but you basically cross through the wall on the right there, and basically you go through this whole balloon. Yeah, it's important to do this in order. You have to do the balloon boy thing first, and then do the mangle thing, and it'll show you the balloon parts, and you need those balloons to get to the kid and give him the wedding cake. So, I already explained that. Let's do this next. This is the Sheikah's Party arcade thing, and you have to get to night three to do this one, and you have to collect four cupcakes during the camera time. So right now, I guess... No, let's not do it. We'll do it for fun. But you basically go through this, and you also give a sad kid over here a wedding cake as well. But since that kid's no longer here, let's glitch into the game and just exit from here. So now that I told you guys that, let's go to the next mini game. Whenever it wants to. Okay. And let's see it. Oh, fuck. Why did I choose this one? This is the Freddy Arcade. Or Golden Freddy. I don't know what that is. I really hope that there's going to be an exit here because there wasn't an exit the first time I played this. I'm going to go to the little sad kids boxing place. Oh, no, no, no. There is an exit. Never mind. I know one. And basically, you have to go, uh, I think from here, you have to go up. Well, you, see, so you climb this thing. In which I didn't want to climb it, but alright. You go through here. And you continue on climbing up until you touch a roof. I think that's how I explained it. You're touching a roof or something. Yeah, here we go. And it still continues on. Oh, here we go. And then, yeah, you have the roof part now. So all you have to do is just pretty much jump from here. And you end up in the kid's place. But since the kid's not here, we're going to have to leave it out. And just exit through. Good thing there's an exit. I was so worried. I was like, man, I don't want to cut my camera again. Now we got the last one, which is... Uh, Dark Bonnie, I guess? very glitchy so basically for the kid here you have to go through all this until you randomly get to this glitchy spot you try to find your way to get there by I go by chicas no I, I went by balloon boy never mind my bad I went by balloon boy stage I don't know when. It's not taking me there. Oh, no, I'm in now. Well, basically, you land right here, and you give the kid the cake. 
So now that that is pretty much done with, let's try to exit out of this. Seems kind of complicating now. <laughs> oh wait, can I, can I go through this? I'd like to exit some way out. Oh no, no, no. The exit's right there, there we go. And that is all the mini game. Okay, so we're gonna load up night five. This should be the last mini game. You had to go beat all the knights. Okay, here we go. Yeah, everyone's having fun here. Little birthday party, everyone's wearing masses. And you got everyone that's black and white here, and I gave everyone a cake. How you all feel? Oh, you got <laughs> you got a mask too. Okay. So those balloons apparently represent their soul, and their souls are being freed. That's cool. And this should lead up to the good ending, so we're going to get to that soon after I beat Night 5. So now we're going to be doing the cheats, in which is going to lead to the good ending, so... You know what, I might put this in a separate video, I'm not going to put it in the compilation. Yeah, let's see how all these cheats work. I am super excited to see this. Fast Nights... Radar. The radar is what I wanted before. See, there's a radar right here now. No errors, by the way. We already heard the phone call. No point of it. So no errors, so I can be on the camera as long as I want. That's freaking awesome. Yet yeah, he's being a rather aggressive little bastard. <laughs> I've never seen him on this camera before. Oh, I think I see him. <laughs> Come on. Yo, you are switching too much. Hi. Oh, there he is. Wait, he's in a vent then? Huh. Broke. Where you gonna go now, son? Where you gonna go now, bro? Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, hit 3 a.m. None of y'all could stop me. I have no errors. I think the only way I can be taken down is by spring trap. Hello. Go over here. No, stop it. I'm not done here. Hello. Stop it. Go over here. I guess this is what they mean by aggressive. He keeps going back and forth on this stuff, and it is insane. Hi. Yo. Yeah, this is aggressive, all right. Hi. This is freaking aggressive as crap. Holy shit. I never noticed he can go into these cameras. Like usually I only see him through this one, this one, this one, and this one. Oh, go to this. Yeah, I'm not gonna do aggressive mode. This is just an example of it. Just doing it with all the cheats on. And without the cheats, it would be very, very difficult. Just aggressive alone would freaking destroy me but knowing where he's at that's very very helpful Hi. Well, it should hit 6 a.m. soon oh nope uh, seal it hey you better be back where you're at should hit 6 a.m. soon right I mean the cheats on the fast nights there we go I freaking love these cheats, dude. Like, why couldn't we have this after we beat Nightmare Mode? I don't understand that. Alright, here we go. It is good ending time, hopefully. Apparently it's the same thing with the whole chasing the purple guy. My camera turned off, but it's still okay because we made it to the end. So you just chase him. Chase him off. 
Come on. Now let's see if we got the good ending. I would say poor purple guy, but... Man. Yeah, I heard the story. You just basically... <laughs> don't go inside that little costume thing or you're gonna die. That's Springtrap. I said Golden Freddy. It's Springtrap. Good ending! Oh, it says the end. Good ending! Yay! Everyone's saved now. Also, the sad music. So when is this gonna end? As I know the bad ending didn't last this long. Or is this when the game freezes? I don't think so. Oh, okay. There we go. And we are officially done with Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. Three stars, all cheats. We pretty much unlocked everything, as you can see here. When it loads up. We got all these. Just giving the last previews here. All the mini games. Except they're missing the marinette one. The jump scares. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to do that for fun. And all these. So, Fast Nights, clearly, it makes you go to each hour very quickly. Radar spots the spots the freaking spring trap. I couldn't get his name in my head, sorry. Yep, it spots him, and that's what I always wanted. I think I said that in Night 3, didn't I? I was like, man, why can't I just freaking find a radar of him? I didn't say that, but I said, like, toggle him. But this is exactly what I was talking about, and I'm glad that they had this cheat. Aggressive. You all saw aggressive. That was insane. He was just going back and forth, like, each second. It's like, there is no way anyone was going to win that. I think people can win that. It's just, you have to be freaking focused like crazy. And focus on, you know, the errors and all that very quickly. Knowing how to do your strategy. But overall, this game didn't really have a strategy. You just had to focus on spring trap the whole time. And no errors. Clearly, you're uh, having no errors, so no problem. You can look at the monitor all the time. And not worried about all those minor, those minor animatronics killing you. And that's pretty much it. I'm done talking here. This is enough talking for today. Hope you guys enjoyed Five Nights at Freddy's 3. And subscribe in the outro if you have not. Share this to your friends on Facebook and Twitter. It's always stay off kitten, stay off cat, stay off creepy cat army. I will see you then.